What's going on? Jacob all here, and this was my favorite tool. But it says Milwaukee on it since they didn't invite me to uh, their pipeline. <laughs> Out with that, I'm totally getting something new. I'm getting this. This is a Hydro Dip M12 installation driver in Flaming Skulls. And I will show you what I did in a few minutes here to make this look like this. And uh, if you, heck, if you wanna follow along in the video, you can get some knowledge to do it yourself. But I also wanna show you a couple other things going on in the shop. So let's get started. I know you don't wanna hear about it, but it's a tumbler. I know, right? Been working on some tumbler stuff. So Pimp My Pack Out on Instagram uh, was remixing a design and came up with a really great idea that a bunch of us were thinking about. He beat us to it. So you want to put this somewhere that it's not meant to be. And that's exactly what he designed, right? He designed this sweet accessory. Okay. And this is like, this is like an infomercial, right? But wait, there's more. So you can mount your pack up cup holder to it. You can then mount this thing to like a packable Joey or the new wall system. Boom, right? There's more. It can take a cup in the bottom. But wait, there's more, right? You can take a cup, okay? Put it in the bottom, and he designed these little detents so it won't pull out all the way. And you can have your speaker facing up. So say you wanna like put your keys in there or whatever, but you also wanna have like some nuts and bolts. So there's more. You can hang a cup on each side of this thing, right? But wait, there's more. The little handle that he designed, this, this guy, it's like a pack out mounting clip. So now you can put these on a bunch of your pack out cups. If you wanna have a bunch of open bins on your wall, look at how well that works. And these work on the Joey, they work on the stealth mount. And by what, stealth mounts, I mean stealth mount cleat and feet. Here's one. So if you have these little design clips from Pit My Back Out, you can literally go from one thing to another to a Joey. So it's a pretty little, pretty sweet little setup that he came up with. Super multi-function, which we love, right? We want a tool that can do more than one thing. And uh, here you can have your cup holder hanging on your wall or your Joey or your Joey Jr. So thank you, Ryan. That's pretty sweet and awesome. And uh, I will put a link to his Instagram in the description so you guys can check him out. We're gonna move on uh, because I'm sweating. Everything is sweating. I'm gonna move on to the table salt and let's show you, I'm gonna show you what I did and the stuff that you'll need to do one of these uh, hydro dips. Hey, didn't see you there. So I uh, hope this video works out. I've got a little clicker thing here to zoom in because well, Pack Out Princess left me. She was mad. She was sad that uh, if you look at the analytics, most of the people who watch the videos aren't subscribed. So I don't know what to tell you. If you want Pack Out Princess to come back, I guess you gotta subscribe, click the like, all that other fun stuff. So let's get onto the meat and potatoes, right? This is what the drill looks like, installation driver. So the first thing I did is took everything off the drill, okay? Undid all the nuts and bolts. There's a clip in here. Pull off things like these little button panels. Uh, pull off the little light in here get the drill to two bare halves, okay? I then wiped it down. I removed the sticker in here, all right? But I didn't mask this sticker off. Removed everything that I could, wiped it down with uh, like rubbing alcohol, and then I stopped touching it with my dirty paws, okay? There's a few items you're gonna need once you get to that point, right? You want it to look good. now. A rumor is that this rubber grip won't last, but Rob's Customs on Instagram has been doing these for a while and they slowly wear. So what he said is, is don't worry about masking off any of the rubber because you can take like a super aggressive sticky tape or like a scrub pad and you can scrub the rubber parts and end up exposing just the rubber. So if you don't want the rubber covered, don't mask it because it's really hard to. So let's move on to what you need, okay? You need tape, 
I got a kit off of eBay and I'll link that. I've got four things here. And you don't necessarily need all four, but I'm gonna go over this. Primer, an undercoat, then I have an activator, and then I have a clear coat. So you need your activator. You have to have that. You really should have a clear coat. You could not have your undercoat and your primer. So if you look at the way this film works, if you can see in the camera how there's clear spots, anywhere that's clear is going to show the color that's underneath this. So if I did this, I would have a red skull right here where it's clear, but the white Milwaukee lab labeling is, I'd have a white skull, okay? So this is the film, and what I do is I lay it out onto my project area, okay? I get my drill, and I say it's this big, and you see how it's curling up? And then take my tape, and I make an outline, a square border with tape of the film, and then I cut the film. So I would actually cut it after the fact, around the tape. You end up with a square of your hydro dip film. Okay. Your drill, whatever you want to do. As I explained with the clearness thing, this one, the skulls are white, which means I used a white undercoat. If I used a silver, a green, you would get these cool green and black skulls. But you want to think about your contrast between the black in the film or whatever your big primary solid color is and whatever your undercoat is. Red would have worked, but I like the idea of the white skulls because white is a skull. Now, I bought a kit off of eBay, like I said, that came with a primer, an undercoat color, the activator, and then the clear. By default, when you buy the film, you can get it without all the stuff, but you can also buy kits that have all of this. I got this dead flat clear because I didn't want a lot of gloss to the product. I wanted it to look well, not shiny. So what I did is I scuffed it very gently, removed any stickers, I put primer on it. Once that was dry to the touch, I put this Midwest white, and that, honestly, because it's gonna be mostly coated, doesn't have to be a perfect coat. You don't want drips, but if you see primer, and your primer is a gray to white, you're not gonna really notice it. So you don't have to go thick on this. Once I had a dry to the touch coat, okay, I was ready to do the hydro dip. I got a tank of water. This is where your tape helps. You put the sticky side down, the side that's got the, acti not the activator, but this, what they call is a PVA. It's this water-based, it's water-soluble thing on the bottom side, and it's really easy. You just get your fingers wet, stick it to the film, and whichever side your finger sticks to is the side down. You're holding it by your tape, you lay it on. Uh, you have to wait one minute. No, one minute. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have to lay, wait one minute, and then once that minute's up, you spray your activator. And you want to make sure the product glosses out. And one of the things that I will tell you, I didn't do the tape thing first. And when I put the film down, as soon as it hits the water, it starts shrinking and expanding and shrinking and expanding. But it stays together pretty well. But the second you spray this activator, it just spreads. Having the tape as a border so it can't spread, so having a square cut of tape made it super easy. At that point, you wash it for like four to five minutes until the product doesn't sud anymore and it doesn't look glossy. Get it super dry and hit it with your clear. That's about it. Now, I've got some clips that I put together during the steps that I'm gonna go ahead and put in after I'm done blabbing. You can watch what I did and uh, enjoy. Let's get this thing torn apart. All right, I have all of the screws out, and what I like to do is sort of put them in order, and then I get a right general idea. Boop, that's what it is. So then when I go like that and clean them all up, I can just go back to the video and know which screw went where. I do need to remove this guy. We're gonna end up putting a Jake stand on this anyway, so we'll probably leave this all. Actually, that's right, we can put the Jake stand on it and still use these, but whatever. All right, let's get that out. Okay, now you gotta look for something on a lot of these M12. There is a clip back here that you have to remove. And a lot of times, I'm 
knife under it. Okay, and then labels. So there is a label here. So we're gonna go ahead and off camera, try to gently peel that and uh, then we'll open it up. Uh, avoiding warranties, right? These labels are not meant to be removed, but uh, whatever. All right, there's one half. Nice, very nice. Here's all the inside goodies. So we really just wanna get a good screenshot of what this looks like because we need to pull all of this out. And if we can get it out whole, we want to because we are just trying to get access, right, to the plastics. Switch. Okay, so there, our forward reverse. All right. LEDs, so that will probably mask off. Obviously, uh, not, I don't want to say obviously, we do need to mask off our handles. And on this, we'll go ahead and peel the mat, pull the magnet out. Grease, we'll make sure that we uh, have grease back there. These labels. I am probably gonna just mask with tape, and cut it to the shape. But first things first, I'm gonna get any adhesive removed from there, wipe it down with a degreaser, and then I'll get everything masked off, and then we'll go on to the next step. All right, we are at the primer stage. I'm gonna let these dry. I already like the look. I love red, but that looks good. That looks really good. I'm thinking of a gray Milwaukee tool set, right? You guys, what do you think? I mean, they didn't send me an invite to uh, the pipeline, so I love the tools, but I could just paint everything gray. Just kidding. All right, all right, all right. They're all white, sort of white. It's called, I don't know, something white, Midwest white. Want to try to make sure we get down in the holes uh, before I put this coat of white on, I flipped it and did any inside area that I was a little worried about. So now I'm just going to let them dry and we'll be on to the next step. Oh, look at that. It doesn't have the clear on it. Now it's gonna get a matte clear, but yeah, I'm using a Milwaukee fan to, uh, yeah. So uh, we'll be right back once these uh, get peeled and cleared. Yeah. Oh, all right. Second coat of super matte clear just went on. That's why you can see some shine. But uh, the fact that it's matte clear, it dries real quick. Uh, so far, not having any issues with running, so that's awesome. I uh, Once it dries, I lift it up and I get under stuff, and in the areas that it's just going to be a pain, I set it down, and then I put a good coat on it. So I'm going to go ahead and get the last coat on, and then we'll uh, probably follow up with a after clip of it nice and matte and ready to assemble. Oh, look at that. I went ahead and put a fourth coat clear on after I peeled labels. Uh, I'd say it turned out pretty good. And now it's time to put it together. I hope all that made sense. Sorry, I sort of filmed it on the fly, but uh, I was busy doing it. I loved it. I hope you guys liked it. I would love for you to comment below and let me know what you think of this. I think it honestly turned out pretty good. Uh, and I apologize for uh, the Packout Princess not being on this one. Uh, so, you know, of course, no, no clickbait. But, uh, or, or maybe I'll just throw clickbait hey! in. What? what are you doing? I was... Here. I'm about to say Packout. But it's not... I'm not in it. I know. 
Well, I thought you said you didn't want to be in anymore because people mm. don't subscribe. We do have to give away this. Oh, we're going to... Well, see, I guess I would have forgot that. Yeah, well, geez. so it's a good thing I'm here. Okay. okay. I, I found the should winner. probably come over here because I'm betting you're not on camera. I'm probably not. So, but anyways, I, I found the winner for the cup. Do you want to know who I picked? Yeah, sure. Okay, so there were lots of comments. People said that they would put um, coffee. Uh, somebody oh, said wow. like Jack and Coke. Oh, yeah. Somebody said uh, a Michelada. Oh, a Michelada. I, love, I have tried those. Um, which are pretty good. Somebody said beer. Um, somebody said they would give it to their girlfriend um, and let her put wine in it, which was pretty good. But there is one comment that I read out of all of them that is very close and dear to my heart. Because if you guys follow me on any of my social media platforms, you all should know that I love tequila. So Trevor Schofield said tequila on the rocks. So Trevor Schofield, That's a good bit of you tequila. won the pack out. The pack out tumbler. Uh, tumbler. So we will DM you, and no, no we will we not. Cannot DM no, we cannot DM. Email we'll, we'll us. Email us. Yes. yes. Oh well, we can comment under his name, right? No, he no. will watch the video. Oh. Okay. Oh yes, yeah. he, we will comment there, yeah. but he, we'll give you our email address here in a minute. Yeah. Well, not in a minute when this video releases. Right. So screenshot it. I did. Uh, we will comment uh, the email address that you need to message us at yes. uh, to go ahead and claim your prize, and we will not ask you to message us on WhatsApp. And all the no, other stuff that's been going weird. around uh, YouTube. No. People are commenting no. in the we comments. We just ask for your so, address. But I have a serious question. Oh, okay. What's up? Uh, salt line. I don't do. What do they call them? Training, training wheels. wheels? No. Do training wheels? I don't. I mean, you oh. can put salt on me and look it off. I don't mind. But... Whoa, 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 YouTube friends. Oh, shoot. All right. Okay. We better, I didn't say anything we better pack out of here before you. Yeah. Okay. Start well, I got the cup. I got a, a, a message. I got a whatever I have to do and. All right, you can well, say it. What do you? I'm what are you gonna say? Pack out. You don't have to pack out. You have to. Cup out. I do dip out. I do dip out. Okay. Peace. Stay Woo! <laughs> Richard Rawlings. Just kidding. What's going on? Was this visible?